Okay, so I've read this article now three times. I've highlighted a few areas, and as much as I have respect for the Cape Cod Times, I have respect for print media, not news, media. Um, I'm not very happy with this article. Look, anytime you have something, whether it's a firearm, a quadcopter, a drone, whatever you want to call it, whether you want to be politically correct on it or not, everything that human beings have made that are used for recreational purposes, jet skis, boats, cars, you're going to have a few bad apples. This article, which is on the front page of the Cape Cod Times, which might as well be the New York Times for this neck of the woods, a very popular, very established newspaper, print media, um, talks nothing about the negative possibilities, capabilities, probabilities, future, nothing positive, nothing to say nothing of the fact that with this drone, I am capable of capturing 4K video, raw still files, and basically the world is my oyster when it comes to being able to capture from angles that no one's ever been able to capture before, or where you've had to have rented a helicopter or skydived in order to get some angles that this is capable of. It's fully registered, it's a thousand dollar piece of equipment, it is not a toy, but one of the things that frustrated me in the article, besides talking about how much restriction there is on these drones, yet in these same circles I can fly a kite or a model aircraft or whatever, technically. According to a civilian reading this, they would have no idea that the same restrictions are capable with other aircraft. Just drones, because drones have such a, a horrible meaning behind them when it comes to the military, let alone the fact that this thousand piece, thousand dollar piece of equipment, quite simply, is a floating camera platform, and no more, no less. It also has restrictions built into it where I literally cannot fly in certain restricted airspace, including airports and military bases, that it will never fall from the sky unless somebody shoots it down or I hit a bird with it. Quite hard, by the way. This is pretty durable. If it's low on battery, it will literally lower to the ground safely and slowly. So even if it were to fall on top of me, it's not going to hurt me much. Anyway, I love this part here. Uh, it talks about how operate, um, ironically enough, um, where'd it go here? I'm, I'm using my camcorder. Here we go. Ironically, according to service, the least experienced operators have the fewest requirements to fly. These recreational users simply need to register online and receive a registration and marking number. They may not be able to drive a car for three or more years, but they can potentially fly into restricted airspace, referring to the 13-year-olds. First of all, if you're going to let a 13-year-old fly this or even the lower end model, which is $500, which still has just, again, a camera on it, which has a mile range. If you are an, a parent and you're going to let a 13-year-old fly these, that's your problem. Why don't you be a parent and fly with your children on something that can be as expensive up to $1,500 and have a three-mile range, okay? That right there really irks me because that immediately gets people thinking, oh, well, these 13-year-olds that have no respect for, for rules and stuff are just going to fly these things all over the place. Oh, my God, chaos. Wrong. You can't fly these in certain areas. The GPS, contrary to popular public belief, is not built into the phone or tablet. It's built into the drone itself. All of these semi-professional or not toy drones have GPS built into them because they have capabilities of going so far they had to put the GPS built into them. The toys that most people own when it comes to a drone that weighs over a certain amount can go no further than a Wi-Fi signal from a phone. They can't go... I mean, think about it. How often do you, do you use, lose Wi-Fi connectivity in your home once you step outside or go more than a few hundred feet from your router? Okay? This is a professional piece of videography and photography equipment. If you're going to let a 13-year-old fly one of these by themselves, regardless of how much experience they have, you might need to rethink your parenthood a little bit, okay? This article talks about nothing but the negatives. They don't talk about the the positives of these with the photography and videography capabilities of these drones. That They're getting angles and, and shots that have never been able to be gotten before or, again, would need the use of heavy equipment. It's nothing but, but, but fear-mongering. It's nothing but negative. I literally could not believe what I was reading, okay? Look at this. In, as unmanned aircraft become more popular, some worry the Cape Skies will become dangerous. The Cape Skies can be dangerous if you fly a friggin' kite too high or in certain areas. Give me a break. We've had model aircraft and helicopters for over 50 years or more, and now that because the word drone is used, all of a sudden it's a big to-do. And yes, again, 
you're going to have bad apples that do something wrong. You're going to have bad apples that fly with their, where they're not supposed to fly. But Cape Cod Times, to put an article like this on the front page and give literal, I'm going to say almost false information, come on. It, it literally, it just talks about the negatives and people being worried. Be worried about stuff that you actually should care about. You know how many drones there are in the U.S.? There are, I think, the, I think the figure, if my math was correct, five times or more as many registered drones than there are actual aircraft in the United States that are registered that fly every day. You know how many aircraft have been taken down? None. You know how many drones have impacted flights in the U.S.? Hit an aircraft? None. You know how many have reported, oh, I think I have to divert because I think I see a drone. It wasn't confirmed, but they thought it was something in their way. Three. In the past two years. And that's the facts that I quickly got online from three different sources. It's just something like this really irks me and, 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 and just rubs me the wrong way. You know, the, even the last paragraph in this article, so-and-so said that she's not aware of any close calls between drones and flights arriving or departing in Hyannis, but she is nervous a near miss won't be too far off. A much more educated public can prevent that from happening. Right. Just like a much more educated public will allow more and more people to own personal firearms and concealed carry firearms and be there to protect their home if it's broken into or their business. Just like everything in this world, the more education people have, not fear-mongering, but the more education people have, the safer the world will be. You know, God forbid, why don't we just bubble wrap the whole world? I get it. I get the need for registration. I get the... Oh, by the way, it's not just a simple registration. You fill out some paperwork. This drone and its serial number and my phone number and my address, and my bank account information, seeing how I had to pay $5, is all registered on a publicly accessible website. You can go on that website and request the information on my drone if you want to without, without being law enforcement or anybody else. Yeah, because that's, that's taken lightly, especially this day and age when everybody and anybody at this point has had their data taken from them or stolen at some point or to some degree. Please focus on the positives and not so much fear-mongering next time, Cape Cod Times if at all. I mean, half the photos you post on your Twitter account or your social media sites are from people who fly drones and take photos and send them to you. You're so quick to show off people's work, people's good things that happen with these drones, but front page news when it comes to talking about the potential badness. The, the, I have a candle over there in, in, in my house, my house that burnt down three years ago. Are we going to Put a front page ad on the Cape Cod Times saying, beware, candles can cause problems. No, you're not.